Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today what we're going to do, we're going to take our three pieces of ore that we picked up at the Occidental Mine and the ones that we had run our UV light on. I'm going to bring it indoors where I could get everything dark and we're going to use our UV light, check it out and see what this ore looks like up close and we'll see what happens and let's get to it. Here are three pieces of ore that I brought home from the Occidental Mine. And these three pieces, I did put the UV light on them, but we're going to take a better look at them tonight and see what they're like. Okay, we are here in my dark room, and what we are going to do, we are going to use the UV light on these three pieces of ore that we picked up from the Occidental Mine. Also, too, of course, what we all want to get when we go out and prospect and when we go gold mining is we want to get gold and silver. But what we want to find out is what does the gold and the silver look like under the UV UV light and I think many of us today will be surprised so what we're going to do we're going to shut the light off it'll be black it'll be dark and I will um, I'll turn the UV light on and we will see what is in this ore Okay, you can see, actually you can begin to see what is in this ore when the UV light is shining up against it. And what we will also do as well is that we will uh, take a closer look at it as we pan in with the camera. But what I would like for us to notice right now is look at the color of the gold. The gold is black. It actually, it's a flat black, and it's not what you would expect to see under the UV light. What, what, what I do want to make a mention is this first file here. That is the gold that the over one gram of gold that I received from Jeff Williams. This second vial here is the gold that I took out of Gold Canyon and Gold Creek, and this third piece of gold right here is was a nugget that got smashed down into basically a square and that nugget weighs 0.54 of a gram so it's half a gram and then we have one ounce of silver that i received from jeff williams and so this is our ore and we're going to take a closer look at everything Okay, we got closer to our ore, and you can see as the UV light is on there that you can see that there is a lot of blue. Actually, I really like that color of blue, and um, it's on every single piece of ore that we have, and it's amazing. It, uh, you know, if you want to know what it is, if you look at the table, you can see that it's on the table too. And a good quick blow of air will take the blue right off of the ore. And what all that blue is is nothing but dust from the air. And you can see it floating around. It just cracked me up when I was studying this and finding out that... Um, all that blue, the one of my favorite colors, is nothing but dust. It's worthless, but it sure looks good under the UV light. Let's even take a closer look. Okay, right now what we are looking at, we are looking at the largest piece, which was basically quartz that we pulled out of the Occidental Mine. And you can see that it comes up a fiery... Uh, flame red on this ore. It is just really amazing. So when we're in a shaft and when we're looking at ore, this color would tend to tell us that it is quartz. Okay, as we get to the next ore, 
we can see the various colors, but what we want to look for is the black. It's really hard to tell with the camera this way, but when I was doing it, you know, in the dark without the camera, uh, I could see black and I would turn on the light and look at it with my jeweler's loop and uh, and I could see the flat black like our our gold nugget and the gold that we got from Jeff Williams from his uh, mine shaft and the gold that I got from Gold Canyon and you can see my gold from Gold Canyon it does have some gold specks in it but actually what it is it is the dirt and the gold stuck together so it's not as clean as Jeff Williams gold because I mean his is really clean and I mean it's some good looking stuff and so here's that gold nugget uh, that's been smashed into a square a half a gram right there and we have an ounce of silver that I received from from Jeff Williams and so but one of my favorite pieces of ore that I got was uh, this piece here and once again I just do want to say that it's really hard to even uh, look at this you know in the well you know with the camera but boy with your naked eye and with a jeweler's loop uh, you can see a lot of things that I mean it is just completely different Okay, here is that one piece of ore that we have in its natural state inside the Occidental Mine. Okay, I do have these pieces of ore turned around so we can see the back side of them. And you can see how they just light up differently in this view. But I am thoroughly convinced, unless someone can convince me otherwise, is that there's no possible way that you could tell if there is gold in the ore using a UV light because I think you just need regular light to be able to see that because once again gold comes up as a flat black actually a super flat black but that looks amazing See, you could see some black inside there, so you would need regular light and a jeweler's loop to see what's in that black, to see if it's gold. And I know when I looked at it outside, there was no gold inside of there that was visible to the eye. Well, this concludes this episode of using our UV light looking for gold in our ore. And I hope you were able to glean a little insight. I know I did. A couple of things that I really liked is I found out that gold comes up as a flat black under the UV light. And the blue color that I really like uh, is just dust on the ore. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, smash that like button. Share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experience. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family. We would love to have you in the family. We're so thankful that you're here. We're thankful for your support. And we will see you on the next one.